He sounded like someone, didn't he? James Pony Wozak said of Bill Taylor, the acting U.S. ambassador to Ukraine. His deep, assuring, steady voice reminded some people of Tom Brokaw. No, maybe it was Walter Cronkite? Edward R. Murrow. It's telling that all those comparisons were to old school news anchors. Because I think what people were hearing in Mr. Taylor's gravelly composure was the voice, not so much of another person, but another time, a time of authoritative voices that a wide audience found credible. It was like a science fiction story in which someone turns on an old radio and hears a staticky broadcast from the past. Even the text of Mr. Taylor's introduction had a Kronkishan ring, Pawnee Wozik adds, Wednesday's testimony was the first installment in a series of unknown length, and it showed the hearing's potential to tell an involving story and to enable grandstanding. The afternoon segment, in which committee members took turns questioning, was heavy on the posturing. But Mr. Taylor's lengthy statement was absorbing, not just because of that 20th century anchor voice, also, the first day of hearings offered, good gripping TV, dramatic at times, with occasional comic levity and some distinct